Marie Antoinette is a name that has come to be synonymous with luxury, excess, and scandal in French history. There is no doubt that the young queen was known to indulge and was in some ways responsible for her own vilifying public image. It is hard to say how much of this depiction is a reflection of Marie Antoinette's true nature and how much was a reaction to the hosts of slanderous images circulating about the queen in the years leading up to the revolution. How much influence did these representations of Marie Antoinette have on public opinion and what part did they play in her ultimate downfall? Newspapers and obscene illustrations used to defame the queen began circulating throughout France during the early years of her reign. These graphic pamphlets focused mainly on the king's impotence and the promiscuous queen's searching for other sexual outlets. These images produced and perpetuated rumors of incest, lesbianism, and adultery. There has never been any solid evidence to support these claims. These personal attacks on the queen may have made life as a public figure exceedingly difficult, leading her to further indulge herself in extravagant distractions. This behavior only fueled the criticism from the French people. Artists and writers continued to create an image of Marie Antoinette that centered around greed and gluttony. Though the larger explanation for France's debt was Louis XVI's decision to financially support the American Revolution, this was overshadowed by the Queen's perceived extravagance. Even the birth of the Dauphine in France in 1781 was met with speculation as the pamphlets questioned the paternity of the child. Much of the public disapproval of Marie Antoinette stemmed from the presumption that the Queen had great political influence of Louis XVI. Much of the public disapproval of Marie Antoinette stemmed from the presumption that the Queen had great political influence over Louis XVI. Newspapers and illustrations depicted Louis as a powerless victim to the Queen's sexual manipulations and her political pursuits. Though Marie Antoinette had little voice in political affairs, these pamphlets became a source of truth for the French people. After the Labelles, after the Labelles took hold, every decision the Queen made triggered unrelenting criticism. Her role as a mother, sister, and wife were ignored in favor of a more convenient image of immorality and sexual deviance. These representations dominated public opinion in the years leading up to the French Revolution. Pamphlets featuring pamphlets featuring the queen indulging pamphlets featuring the queen indulging in luxuries, dominating Louis the Sixteenth, and being sexually promiscuous in more ways than one seemed to reveal everything that was wrong with the monarchy in France. At least this is what the French public came to believe. Whether based on fact, whether based on fact or complete fallacy, the publications depicting Marie Antoinette as a sexualized, materialistic, and wicked queen acting in her own self-interest stirred revolutionary sentiments and made it impossible for Marie Antoinette to have any chance at peace with the French public.